guys and welcome back to the fourth installment of Will It Stamp? I'm glad that you're joining me on this crazy adventure. Let me, yes, there's more light. Um, today we are going to test items that are roughly, well, that can be found in the toy aisle of a supermarket or like a toy store, like a Toys R Us or something. Um, some of them were suggested by the lovely Michelle M. Thanks again. And thanks to your husband who also helped brainstorming apparently. And I'm still getting rid of the sugar from the marshmallows of the last episode. If you haven't seen that, check it out. It's in here somewhere. Good. So today we are going to look at five different toy items. Um, the first of which we still have to assemble. I'm kind of excited about that. It's this make your own bouncy ball set that I bought on Amazon. I wasn't able to buy just a regular straight up bouncy ball on Amazon. Can you believe that? But it did suggest me buying this crazy make your own bouncy ball kit, which we are going to get into in a second. It only requires cold water. We'll see about that. I have the water right here. Okay, then next up we have this magic putty that I bought at the dollar store. It says stretch it, form it, snap it, melt it. We are not going to do that today. And bounce it. Um, and then it comes in this like blind bag and there's a surprise color in here and we're gonna see about that. Then I have this also kind of like along the same lines but it's probably hopefully not the same product this 3d clay that's also sort of like um magic putty also it only says molded painted stick it uh and i have bought like a bunch of these little containers because they came like in a 12 pack so uh, i am probably you know set for life with this stuff now then i have a tub of slime this is like a regular slimy the one that you know farts when you put your hands in there let me demonstrate that hold on Ah, it's so yucky. Ugh, and it's so slimy. Why? Why are you so slimy? Ugh. Ugh gosh. Okay, slimy. Mm. Lovely. And then um, I was waiting or I'm still waiting for another item that didn't arrive in time. Um, so I substituted this thing. That's a balloon. I recently bought um, a bunch of new swatch sticks uh, also off of Amazon and uh, for some reason the swatch stick company thought it was a good idea to provide a balloon per package of swatch sticks. I don't know what balloons have to do with that but we're gonna blow it up to like a size that is like still manageable and that I can still hold on to and we're gonna try stamping with this. So. First, we are going to assemble our own bouncy ball. All right, so this is what the set looks like. It comes with three shapes and then two, four, six, eight, ten packages of different colored, I don't know, powder, mm, like crystals, crystallized stuff. Uh, and it <laughs> explicitly says, do not eat or swallow. We're not going to do that. We're just going to form our own bouncy ball. And I'm going to use um, this actual like round form because I don't think that the other ones will uh, provide like an even enough surface to stamp with. So let me look at the instructions. Okay, you put together the form, you put your, your uh, powdered stuff in there, you can mix the colors, uh, fill it till here, put it into water for a minute, then let it sit out for three minutes and then we're done. That sounds easy enough. So which colors should we take? Let me put this together. No. This is meant for kids and I'm not even, I'm not able to assemble this thing. <laughs> you going on the inside or, ah, okay. Okay, okay, got it, got it. I think I'm going to do like purple, yellow, and orange. I think I'm going to do that. I hope that these are, this is like enough.
Okay, I'm gonna call this enough now. Um, I'm gonna get out my stopwatch and set a timer to a minute. Then we're gonna drop this little guy into the thing. Then we're gonna get it out, put it on like a paper towel and let it sit out for three minutes. Okay, so that was one minute. I am taking it out now and setting it on here for three minutes. Alrighty, so this thing has been sitting out for three minutes and the packaging tells me that this uh, should be sufficient uh, timing for this to become a bouncy ball. I'm still doubtful, but I'm gonna uh, rip apart this thing now, the form, and see whether we have a bouncy ball. Ooh, ooh, it's slimy. Why is everything so slimy? Mm. And it's not coming out of the other half. Come out there. Ugh, it's sticky and slimy. Just disgusting. <laughs> There we go. Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> That's disgusting. Well, we made a pretty bouncy ball, but it still feels really, really sticky. And I don't know what to do about that. So I'm just gonna leave it, you know, sitting in this sphere uh, until we're gonna use it. I'm gonna wash my hands and continue on with another contestant. Okay, while our uh, homemade bouncy ball is still drying, we're gonna un package this uh, magic putty. It's, so this channel is now a DIY children's toy and unboxing channel because this is a blind bag. All in one. Last time we had squishies. <laughs> okay, so here's the ball with the magic putty inside of it. How are you supposed to open this if you have nails? I don't know. And ooh, we got blue. Blue. Ooh. You. It has ee It kind of it feels almost like the 3D clay I have coming up, but um, we're just gonna go ahead with this now and try stamping with it. I'm still using the Aquinan stamping polish, and I have made like a flat surface, and I'm gonna try you know stamping straight down and then onto the swatch stick, and maybe even pushing the swatch stick in here. Let's see if we have any luck today. Okay, and um, well, <laughs> the pattern is on here. I don't, yeah, now you can see. I don't know if there's even any color in here. So I'm rolling my swatch stick around in there. No, it didn't pick up any of the color. That's funky. It did pick up like the form uh, of it, but you know what? You know what we're gonna try? We're gonna try creating like a mold in here of one of the stamping images, then put color on there, like a polish, and then put it on a swatch six because this one didn't turn out. Good. So let's see if we can pick up this image here. It's really moldable. It's, it's nice to that extent. So now we have the image on here with my scraper. I'm just going off the top of my head. You see the image? I'm gonna put polish on there. And scrape. <laughs> this is so weird. And where's my spot stick? There it is. Nope, not working. Mm, that's too bad. That's too bad. So this 3D clay does not work. Okay, so now we have this different type of 3D clay that is... Mm, it feels kind of different from the first type. I'm not sure though. It's really hard to get these out of the container. There we go. Ooh. Oh, look at that! There's a little lion in here, and now there's a little lion in there. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I'm sorry. 
Good air. I'm molding it. So, it feels so weird. It feels like you're... I don't know. It, it has a weird feeling to it. Okay, good. So now I have sort of this flat surface that we're gonna use. my god I didn't believe this would oh my god look at that just look at that will you look at that ha it did something I'm happy good let's uh, fold this over create another flat surface and try it with a second image there's the roses Okay, so I guess what you want to do is um, press your nail or your uh, swatch stick into it because, you know, just rolling like that will only have part of this touch part of the swatch stick, but it did transfer that part that was touching. Awesome! I love it! up is this slimy. I am not looking forward to doing this you guys. Ugh. Because it's so slimy. It is so freaking slimy. I'm gonna rip off a part because we don't need to ruin all of this. Ugh. <laughs> no. Ugh. Ah. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. I'm gonna form some kind of a surface here. And then I have this uh, pristine white uh, swatch sticks that we're gonna, you know, ruin with the with the slimy probably. Let's see what happens. Ooh, it's so wibbly wobbly. Oh, and it does pick up images. Oh, and it does transfer images. Wow, <laughs> I wouldn't have thought that. I thought it was like way too slimy to do that, but it did transfer the image. Cool. Let's see if we can replicate this. And it's clean. It's almost, it's almost gone. Look at that. Look at that. Look at my squibbly, squabbly. And I shall call you squishy. Okay, let's try the roses. Also, oh wow, amazing! It's kind of hard to mold this like into a steady form because it's so wibbly wobbly and slimy, but it does work. Awesome. Moving on to um, the balloon, and then last up, we're gonna do the bouncy ball. Okay, so here's the balloon. I'm gonna blow it up to like a size that is like still manageable. Maybe like so. Um, tie it off. Good. <laughs> so funky. Stay here, balloon. Okay, first we're gonna try this image like we did with the other ones. And... I'm gonna roll. Oh, it did pick up. Trying not to put too much pressure on here. Mm. Yeah, it's it's the same. It doesn't. I didn't want to put too much pressure on here, so I only touched like part of it at first. Um, but it did transfer the image, and I'm gonna try, you know, pushing gently, pushing the swatch stick onto the image next time. Not putting too much pressure because I don't want this balloon to pop on me. I don't want that. Trying the roses. Ah, uh, okay. And 
pick up. And now we're gonna gently hmm, push our swatch stick into the image. Ooh, that worked! That actually worked. Pretty. Good! Let's move on to the bouncy ball. Okay, Mr. Bouncy Ball is no longer as sticky and gluey as it was and I just tested it out. It does bounce like a maniac. Uh, and it's pretty. I like the color combo we chose. We did a good job here. Okay guys, um, we're gonna try if Mr. Bouncy stamps, right? Okay. I wanna roll. Mm, I did pick up something. It's it's down to this being like this very weird material. Uh, but it did do something. It's not a very clear image, but it transferred um, the parts of the image that it did pick up. So I'm gonna try another um, another image on another part of this. And maybe I can clean it up with acetone and not destroy it uh, and use it as a bouncy ball. Because I like the way it bounced. And my cats can play with it. Uh, don't don't get me wrong. <laughs> they love bouncy things. Good. Oh, next up is this rose image. Mm, not so much. Not so much. It did transfer, but it mostly transfers like the texture of the bouncy ball and not the image. Oh well, you win some, you lose some, right? Okay, well, let me clean up this mess and meet you back for the final verdict. So that was the fourth installment of Will It Stamp? And what have we learned here today? We have learned that if you are uh, not currently in the possession of a stamper, you could always go into your kid's bedroom and steal all their toys uh, and use them as a stamper instead. I was really surprised at how good this like 3D clay stuff worked and how amazing the slimy worked that was incredible uh, the balloon did a pretty, pretty decent job also I'm surprised at that and you know balloon is reusable a bunch of times um, mr. bouncy ball maybe if I had like a bouncy ball with a smooth surface it would have worked better but I couldn't get one um, so you might want to try that out on your own time and then I was very disappointed with this uh, incredible magic putty that is not doing anything other than mold itself around my swatch sticks. It does a very good job at that. It's somehow, you know, it does say on the packaging that you can melt it and when you touch it, it sort of does that. You see that? Can you see it? My fingers are melting into the stuff. I'm not putting on any pressure and still my fingers are sinking into the material. <laughs> Look at that. It's kind of funky that way. So, and that was uh, the fourth installment of this series. Um, let me know if you have any ideas of what to try next. I will gladly do this. This is really kind of fun uh, and I love experimenting and I love combining different things that are not nail art related with nail art. So uh, let me know down in the comments below what I should try next and also leave this video a like if you thought that we learned something important here today and stay tuned for my future videos. Subscribe if you haven't already and yeah thanks again for watching. I will talk to you next time. Bye!